Oh, hi! What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Well, as you can see, today I am back inside the ninth element. I'm just uh, tearing some stuff out, making some changes, adding some things, getting ready for another road trip. Um, so I hope everyone is well. And I just want to acknowledge right now something that's just happened with my channel, which I'm so excited about. And I want to thank you because you are a part of it. I want to thank all of my new subscribers for joining and I want to thank all of my old subscribers who have been here since the beginning. It really means a lot to me. Like I really, it just, I think it's amazing. So yeah, thank you to all the new subscribers and thank you for all of your fabulous comments. I try to answer each and every one. Um, and I've noticed that I'll go and see if there's a comment and then I'll, you know, give it a thumbs up and a heart and then, but not reply right away. And then it's gone. So if your comment is one of those, I'm sorry, YouTube or Google or something uh, is doing something with that. Anyways, but I do read all of them and I love it. Positive or negative, it helps me grow and make improvements. So speaking of improvements today, I have taken the ninth element down to, well, a part. I've taken her apart. Um, I'm going to be doing some cleaning and a little bit of rearranging because I'm finally getting ready for a nice little road trip. So come along with me today and see how to do a build, no build, in the Honda Element, the ninth element.
So now let's uh, look at what I put inside the back of my garage. Um, I plan on using this whole back area as my cook area for the next road trip and I have ways of uh, making it windproof um, as well as rainproof and I will show you that too. But let's look at what goes in the garage. I've got um, a collapsible Coleman oven and if you go back through my videos to camp in place you'll see how this um, sets up. I have pre-packed here some parchment paper in a baking pan so I'm ready to go to make cookies or muffins or biscuits. Um, the next container I have is um, two baskets. This one is mostly camp supplies like uh, armo cargo netting for shading, um, tarp for rainproof for making an awning off of the Honda Element on the suicide doors which I'll show you on my trip. Uh, Lucy lights, I usually throw these on the dash of the car so that they can charge during the day and then this pops up. And then this is a battery operated light that I can put anywhere in the car on the table outside. And then <clears throat> a toolkit in here and uh, that's pretty much for that one. This one is all kitchen. I have a tablecloth that I can put on the tailgate of the Ninth Element and have a picnic or at a table at a campground. I have uh, wine glasses, also come coffee cups in the morning, and a titanium little pot for boiling water, which you would have seen that pot used in my solo female winter camping up in the Cascades uh, in January. Coffee grinder, um, my MSR pots and pans, mountaineering ones for boiling water, frying things, tiny frying pan, um, of course, you should always have tin foil and plastic wrap. And I'm going with the butane stove this time rather than taking my big gas stove. So now let's get it all packed inside the garage. vacuum seal clothing. <laughs> I need to address is the bed. As much as I love it being, I think it's 70 inches, I'm not sure. Um, I picked it up at Fred Meyer in the in the RV section. Um, they were on sale for $20.99 each. Fantastic deal. So I'm going to need to trim these back a little bit and that way I'll be able to shut the door and someone will be able to ride comfortably in the passenger seat. So I'm going to show you an easy way to trim foam mattresses. I'm going to check the length again just to make sure that I don't cut too much off of the bed. So yeah, and then what I'm going to do is just break out a little piece of the foam so that I know where to cut.
All else is needed to cut a foam mattress is a serrated knife, you know, like a bread knife. Now, if you're a professional chef, don't use your good cook knives or your roommates or your friends or your partners. I think I should probably draw a line on the mattress first to make sure I cut straight. Yeah, I'll do that. So I found this uh, piece of stick in my garage. Up. And let's get cutting. No power tools, no problem. And now there it is back inside the sleeping bag sheet. And the bed is now 67 inches long. This is how much I cut off of the foam mattress. And it is like four inches long. So I took four inches off the mattress. Not bad. Now I'm going to dress the bed. My metal bins are used as indoor outdoor gear. Um, they're empty right now because I like to put food in them and sometimes my camera gear. But these can be easily pulled in and out of the ninth element and put outside and used as a table or a side table. Um, yeah. And <laughs> I'm trying to get my magnet off here. This is my fishing magnet, but I can't get it off of there. I like to use Mrs. Meyer's Rose Geranium Cleaner, a couple tablespoons to a liter bottle, and it is fabulous. It smells so good, too. Today's deep clean day. Everyday gear that I travel with are chains and, and leveling blocks. I didn't worry about my build being level because you're never on level ground wherever you park. So I make up with it with the Camco leveling blocks, which I'll show you when I'm out camping. I also pack two chairs so that a friend can scooch up next to me at the campfire. You can see these chairs in my solo female winter camping in the Cascades and uh, they're backpacking chairs. They're pretty fantastic and they're very comfortable. There's the paracord hung between the seat belt, back seat seat belt holder and the, I think they call these holy fuck bars. <laughs> and then some little hangers. I like to hang stuff. So now I have a way to hang it.
I know that doesn't look like much. But that's the view through my moonroof. Ah. <sighs>